Hi everyone, this is Kedra with Nyx Moon Oracle, and today I am bringing you a What's the Tea Wednesday reading. I am going to focus on the energies and situations that may or may not be going on in your current life. You may, it may be somebody you know that's having it happen to, and maybe you can help them with this reading. But as always, if this reading doesn't resonate with you at all, please don't try to make something fit that would cause you to be triggered or upset. Um, just try back another time or select another reading of mine in my playlist um, for tarot readings. With that said, let's get it started. Let's see what is going on with the tea. I'm going to pick three cards for the overall energy of this situation that Spirit wants to bring up. Choices. Success. High Priestess of Water. Hmm. There's two of the same moon here. There's three moons right here, all in the same cards on each picture. Now, of course, this is the same deck, but... Hmm. What I'm getting is... There's a, a person, I'm getting a female, who, you know, has made the choices to, you know, go forward with success. This She feels like she's taking the steps for a successful life, right? She's doing the right thing. She's taking care of her health. She thinks she may have made the right choices, the right steps moving forward. She just feels like she has her shit together. But I'm hearing that some of the choices that she has made, there's some darkness with this. And she has this inner knowing that what she thought was success, with a, I'm, I'm seeing a man, I'm feeling a man, um, may have to come to an end because that crow to me is always death or end of a cycle. And this person like has a good side and a bad side. And it's like, She's been on this road to success, thinking she made the right choices, the right decisions, and but she's starting to see some things uh, going on with this choice. It could be a person. I'll have Spirit clarify. Um, Spirit, tell me about, I'm using my lip service oracle deck that is going to be on sale within a couple of days. I was going to have this up earlier, but things happen, and I didn't get it up on Etsy like I wanted to. Spirit, I need you to, to clarify some things for me about this situation. Spring Fling. Sucker. And one more. Patience. And Bumpy Road came out too, so. What I'm getting is I feel like this person has had patience with this, I feel like it's a person, with this person or situation. You know, going forward I feel like there was just this honeymoon period. There may have been a little bit of a bumpy road, but this person had patience. This could be with a new job. You know how everything is nice. A friendship. This could be anything. I'll clarify later. An opportunity, a situation. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and before I go forward, I'm going to see what the situation, get a little clarifier on the situation. What can you tell me about the situation? Is this a relationship? What is this? Ooh. Okay, this card flew out and then hit the floor. Single. Okay. Okay. I think I already know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get one more. Whee! Financial support and interview. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck was triggers. I'm going to keep that for, I feel like I need to keep that for later. Okay. 
So what I see going on, I see that this is a person because of the single and there's a man. I needed something like that to for spirit to tell me. I feel like this high priestess could be a water sign because it's of water. I feel like she's kind of always done the right thing on the road to success, on the road to happiness. She's taking care of her body, finances. Um, you know, she's overall, you know, got, got it together. She has this, she has, you know, done well financially. She's had patience with finding the right person. She gets to know the person, kind of interviews them, um, you know, like interview for life. And I feel like this person made a choice and she thought it was a successful one because she thought she made the right choice. She literally interviewed them, knew they were on the same page, got to know each other and really got to know them before she dove deep. I feel that her patience, she feels paid off. Like she knew what she wanted. The high priestess is in her knowing. She knew what she wanted and she thought she made the right choice. But I'm hearing because of this duality and this death and this moon that it was an illusion. She's, she's starting to feel like it was an illusion. It doesn't mean it is. I don't know the situation yet. But I'm hearing it's lately it's been a bumpy road. And because of this spring fling, it could be this person is acting a little single. Maybe they're blurring the lines um, with being inappropriate. Maybe they're flat out having an affair. I'll find out in a little bit. But the spring fling for me pretty much is an affair. That's why I made the card. This was a, a love relationship just, you know, for its time. And it's caused this bumpy road. I mean, she's, she's had patience with her suspicions, kind of hiding out, watching out, watching, being patient, not wanting to jump the gun. But this person's been acting single and it's been hard. And either there is an affair or this person is, or she's suspicious of it because he's acting out in a certain way. And she feels like a sucker. She feels like she's provided financial support for this person maybe help take care of a child, maybe help take care of some of his bills um, because she is, she seems to be financially independent and success driven and she feels like a sucker. That's rough energy to be in. Spirit, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Tell me about, more about this. Tell me more about this person, this situation. Tell me about this spring fling. Tell me about this person. Yeah, she, she thought she had it together. You know, she she found this person. She thought she won a, she thought she found her trophy, her compliment out of, like she was really proud of the person that she was with, what they were building, proud of her successes in life. High Priestess again. Yeah, but she knows something's going on, something's hidden. There's fear here, illusions. I think this person's learned some truths. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. What are the truths? What are the illusions? What is this inner knowing? Two of Wands, plans, crossword, crossroads, crosswords, crossroads, and influence. Um, two of Wands. Okay. She doesn't know. Like she doesn't know. Like she knows there's something up. I don't know if she's flat out caught this person doing it, or maybe she's seen some behavior. Maybe she's found pictures on a phone. Something like that. There's something that is just not flat out. But she's at a crossroads. Like all her plans are getting it like dashed because of these truths that are coming out. She's learning truths. She's seeing through illusions. Things are starting to add up, and now, now, uh, yeah. Now she's really wondering what the hell's going on. But this person has a dark side, really isn't who she thought he was. Woo! He's sneaky. He's sneaky. What else, Spirit? Sneaky? Moody? 
superficial. Now I do feel like, um, I felt this early on. I felt like because of the trophy, I felt like, you know, maybe this person that she's with is very handsome, very, you know, he has a mask that he puts out that makes it so, you know, he may look really good. He may have the superficial mask that he puts forward that allured this woman in. Like he had his shit together. He was really caring. He was this, he was that. There's another moon, 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 moon everywhere. She thought she had a trophy, but this was a superficial person wearing a mask. And she, she was kind of, she thought she interviewed this person, but she was kind of led by how handsome this person was and how charming this person was when it's really all superficial. It's the mask. Tell me more. Tell me more, Sarah. I am so wanting to know what's going on. And then we'll go into ooh, reckless, impatient. I, maybe this person she thought was this angel, this, you know, trophy. She was proud of it, but this person's sneaky, moody, superficial, impatient, and reckless. What else? One more. That one flew across the room. Conceited. All not great energies. And, I, and spoiled brat is on the bottom of the deck. Something, this, this triggered um, card was on the bottom of the deck earlier. I feel something has triggered um, a, sh a shit storm. And she's putting pieces together, but there's been some kind of behavior. Reckless behavior, impatient behavior. It's like she's been putting up with moody, then sneaky, then superficial, then it grows to impatient, and now it's flat out reckless. This is all like a building block of this person's mask falling off. They're triggered. This person, I feel, is triggered. This person's conceited. A spoiled brat. Hmm. Tell me more about this high priestess person spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me about their personality. Tell me more about them, spirit. Athletic, I thought so. Kind of all about themselves and the one. I, I do feel like she was very, this high priestess was very attracted to this the way this person looks. He was athletic, as you can see here. Athletic, she thought this person was the one. She, she thought she found, you know, I'm hearing the other part of her. Her other, you know, like a soulmate. And she thought she found somebody that complimented her life. Period. She thought this person was the one. Let me get some clarifiers. I feel he was very fit and very athletic because the athlete card came out. So tell me more about this person's spirit. Oof. They are on fire. There's a lot of energy. My ears are tickling. Yeah, she she had big dreams with this person. She, success. She had big dreams with this person. What else? She admired this person. I really feel like he was a really handsome person. Yeah, like I said earlier, she thought this was a compliment to her. She wanted to be part of his tribe, and she thought she was part of his tribe that they could build a tribe together with these big dreams. One more spirit. That's really sad because now, now she feels this. One more spirit. Yeah, I feel like she was really devoted to this person. I feel that she still is. That's why she's having a hard time. Tell me about this spirit. Tell me more. And then I'll get into some. Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me about what is going on. Predator. She went from admiring him and being devoted, having big dreams with him, being part of his tribe, to seeing him as a predator. Wow. That's why the sucker. Now self-care. Um, self also came out already. Self-care. I feel like because of the cross crossroads earlier, she really is trying to feel like... She has to protect herself. She has to protect herself from this superficial person who is sneaky, a spoiled brat, reckless, impatient, and it's just been a lie and she's at a crossroads. 
No longer is this person the trophy to her. Now she feels like a sucker. And she's wanting to perhaps step away, wondering how to step away. Wondering how to step away because of uh, the single energy. Maybe that person was acting single and she's feeling like, you know, maybe it's time. This didn't work out. This woman knows stuff. Like, she's always lived a life to take care of herself and now she, she really is all about self-care and what's good for her. And she's really at a crossroads whether to be single or not. Yeah, this person's all about self-care, but this predator, this predator, um, I'm really curious about this. Tell me about this predator spirit. Why is she feeling this predator energy? It's really concerning. It's good that she sees her value. That's really good. And she's at the crossroads. She's sorting things out. And I think I feel this person puts themselves first. Listening. Listening. She's listening, maybe listening in, listening, listening to her inner self, being loyal to her inner self, being loyal to herself, I mean. This predator is really biting at me. Tell me about this predator spirit. I'm going to get another tarot, a different one. Tell me about this predator. I feel that she has been hurt in the past by people with the same thing. It's like, okay, I, I learned this lesson with somebody else. I've been through this crap before. And that's why I interviewed this person. I got to know this person. And I thought they were a compliment to my success. I had devotion, but this is bringing up. And plus the sadness that I'm feeling from this person, the disappointment. I feel like she, she may be listening into just keeping an eye because you can listen with your eyes and listen with your ears. I really feel like she's listening to her intuition, but she's also listening to, it, you know, to check up on this person, listening to in her intuition, looking for signs, just looking. But she's really sad. She doesn't like it. This is triggering for her. Tell me about this predator, this, spirit, this predator energy. An ace of cups. Yeah, she thought, she thought this person was her ace of cups, but he turns out to be a predator. Maybe she feels, yeah the chariot charging ahead. I feel, let me look at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Spirit, you tell me about, I'm going to get into a situation again. Tell me about the predator. I feel, I really feel like she thought this person was their ace of cups, but she really knows she has to fill her own cup. And I feel like she's going to charge ahead with a decision, but she's just trying to really examine the situation like she is she triggered or is she jumping the gun she's trying to figure it out yeah i just said throw it out and there it is throwing out taking the person out like the trash that's just confirmation um yeah she she's listening to her intuition you know checking out the situation observing this person she's triggered by old wounds she doesn't she she knows not to go through it again she knows she has to fill her own cup of love up um and she will charge ahead and, and throw out the trash, take out the trash. Discarding the trash. You know, she's tired of hearing the music. She's tired, tired of hearing the same old... She feels threatened, embarrassed, because she thought this person was her Ace of Cups. She feels her success is threatened her the marriage or the relationship has been threatened she feels like a sucker a clown that she based all this off of somebody's false mask and appearance yeah she wants to remove the negativity just cleanse it all away that's really healthy energy really healthy energy this person wants to do that's really healthy because it's not a surprise though because this came out immediately I knew this person was all about you know taking care of themselves self-care you know what's best for their success in life so it's not surprising that she's not going to let it go forward because she's learned some lessons before she's learned some lessons before spirit can you tell me 
I'm gonna wrap this up in just a few minutes. This is, this is, uh, I'm really curious about this person. Tell me about this person or what the, yeah, everything's in limbo because she's kind of listening. And this person's just kind of going with the flow. I don't think that this person really knows that she's thinking about taking out the trash because she's thinking about it. She's trying to see. I do feel like this person, clown has come up twice. Like she's too mature for this shit and he's not mature. She's not going to let his immaturity make her look like a clown. It's kind of in limbo. She's, she's like watching and waiting, almost like a, a detective waiting waiting hungry tell me about that i feel like she's hungry for information yeah and she's hungry for information because time is ticking on this relationship time is ticking on this relationship for sure because she's honed in she's honed in she's listening to her intuition she is hungry for information she's kind of letting letting things work themselves out she does not want to be played but she knows something's up but she is honed in, laser focused, <laughs> laser focused, kind of keeping to herself. Keeping it inside is what I'm hearing. She's keeping this inside. Like this person doesn't know how honed in this person is to his bullshit. She, he, she's not um, telling him that she's laser focused and that time is ticking for them. She's keeping it inside. I feel hollow came out. Hollow, that's a king. So I feel like this person, yeah, she's ready. Time is ticking. It's going to be speaking up. She's just kind of letting this person, she sees this person as hollow. Look at that. Vacant. We did get superficial. That's really sad energy. Tell me about this hollow spirit. Tell me about this hollow. I'm seeing these hands around this person's neck. Which is giving me messages, but I need to clarify with spirit. And then I'm gonna go into some advice. Three of cups. Um, I feel like this is third party for sure. There's a third party. For me, the three of cups is a third party for me um, in this situation. For other situations, it's like celebration and things. But I feel like third party, for sure, because of the spring fling. One more spirit. We have the fool and the ace of cups again. I really feel like that she feels like a fool. Like, literally, the sucker card came out. She took a loop of faith with this person, a new beginning. She thought this was her true love. But now, she's thinking about taking that leap of faith on herself, discarding the trash, taking out the trash, and pouring that cup of love herself onto herself, into herself, because time's up. This shallow, superficial person in a third party, I do feel like, and this really upsets me, I've been trying to hold this back, I feel like maybe they have put their hands, this person has put their hands on her. And that's how she's, she sees. Maybe he's put his hands on her, but it wasn't in a way where she, she's kind of tossed it off like, like he's touched her a little too hard, but she didn't consider it abuse. Which makes me uncomfortable. My throat is closing up right now. I feel like she just, she cannot say anything because she's actually being very smart about this. She's being very calculated. Um... She's at a crossroads. Tell me about this crossroads and then we're gonna go into how spirit is assisting this person. I wanna reach through the camera and help her. Help you, if this is you, please reach out for help. Please reach out for help. Rejection, fear. Yeah, she has, I, have, I felt this early on that the reason why she saw this person is because she's been through this before. She's been cheated on before. She's been hurt before. And she, this doesn't feel good to her. She doesn't 
like this. She doesn't like the feeling of it. She will take action, but she, it doesn't mean she wants to experience this because she thought this was her Ace of Cups. It's, like this dude was her Ace of Cups. And now she's playing detective and now she's, you know, possibly have been hurt. And if you have been hurt, please seek help. Safely seek help. One more thing. Whoa. Spirit's making me work for the cards today. Yeah, focus on healing. Someone has to heal old wounds. Second time old wounds has come out. This is definitely revisiting uh, an old wound. And pride, second time pride came out too. This person, this person has a lot of pride. She was proud of her uh, partner, proud of the success that they were going towards or, or, or maybe they have achieved, um, that she had her Ace of Cups, her life, her tribe, building her tribe together. But the Spirit's saying healing these old wounds and fears of rejection or failure um, and pride and ego, they, they can't get in the way of, of self-care. But I feel like this is minimal because she's so driven to succeed and do the right thing that I think this will be an easy transition once she makes a decision. Yeah, she's inspired to move forward, but she does feel some shame um, and humiliation. She feels like a fool, a sucker. That came out already. She feels like a fool and a sucker. Spirit, can you tell me um, some possible future outcomes for this situation? Possible future outcomes for this situation? Me talks. Yeah, she. Th this person is all about two different decks, almost the same imagery. Um, this person is all about listening to their inner knowing, filling their own cup of love, me toxing, um, and self care. So I feel like Spirit saying this person in particular, three and nine, three and nine. That's their success. See this. This is why this person is successful and will be successful in this situation is because they put their inner knowing and their ability to um, detox from people. It's a me, she, this card says metox because they're taking care, it's self-care. They, they look out for what's good for them, what's good for their life and happiness and filling their own cup of love, even though they may feel shame about the situation. Um, and rejection fear. They have pain in this situation, of course. But that's not going to stop them from taking care of themselves. And that is a very strong and amazing energy. So for, for those of you that are watching, that are like that, I don't feel like you'll tolerate any shit. I feel like you have a great handle on the situation. But for, for um, those of you who have friends that are going through this situation, uh, yeah, just be supportive. Be supportive and listen out for them be there when they need it because this person sometimes I'm feeling puts on this shield of I'm a woman I got my sh I got my shit together I'm not going to take any stuff I'm going to throw this guy out but you know deep down that hurts yeah see that's exactly what I was just talking about the power of community gathering around support your friends or if you're the watcher that's going through this reach out for help with your friends um, in doing things in the community. If you have children, you know, get out there, go to parks, do, do hikes, do things with your kids, play groups. Um, if, if you don't have children, you know, just reach out to, even if you have children, reach out to your best friends, your soul tribe, and really come together and, you know, talk about this. You don't have to, you know, carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's okay. We all go through this stuff. We're all human. We all go through this stuff. All go through this stuff. We don't have to keep it inside. I feel guided to, to do one more. And if you are, if you have a friend going through this, just be there for them. You know, take them out to dinner, have them over for dinner, listen to them, just really be there for them. Because even though they may seem like they're okay, I really feel this person has this shame. This, just be supportive. Be a good friend. Nothing's coming out, so I'm not going to push it. Spirit, can you tell me... What else? How are you assisting? How are angels and spirit assisting this person during this time going through this? Angel of Union. A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. I feel like that this person going through this is just a learning lesson because I feel like it just helps them move forward in the next relationship that is a blessed union. Like the angels are guiding them to get out of this relationship. 
because there's a new one. There's there's something else, something better ahead that's blessed and destined for greatness. It's destined for this this current relationship to just fall to the wayside because the time is ticking. You know, this person's energy is just shitty. Just, I mean, just, just shitty. Spirit so saying, you know, once a door closes, I have something better for you. I have something better for you. That success you're wanting, it's coming. It's coming. Just, this time has run out on this relationship and it's because I have something better. Something that's great. Something that's beautiful, not hollow. That's really beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Spirit, can you tell me some words about healing for the watcher or uh, for the watcher for themselves or their friend that's going through this choice? That's that's the first card that came out. Choices. Tell me about this, Spirit. There's that three and nine again. Three and nine. Three and nine. Bless you. Okay. Spirit, thank you. Three, nine, three, nine, three, nine. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine, thirty-nine. Okay. Not a coincidence. Spirit saying, yes, you made the choice with this person. You made the choice with this person, but it's time to put an end. Four and six is ten. Time to put an end to this cycle uh, of old wounds. This is a pattern. Um, you had to revisit it because you, you kind of took the same steps to get there as you did the last time. Spirit saying, dust it off. Your success lies within your ability to repair, renew your self-care, looking for red flags, looking for red flags, listening to your higher self, your intuition, and see the bubbles. Watch what you're manifesting and attracting to you. That is your secret to success. Your secret to heal. Your secret to success is healing, healing yourself, mind, body, and spirit, concentrating on what you want in your life and watch what you're manifesting and attracting to you. You have to heal old wounds to move forward. Those old wounds came up twice. The rejection fear, alternative. Yeah, there's an alternative. I have something better for you. You don't have to be in the low vibrational energy. Your key to success and healing from what's going on right now is making the right choices going forward, watching what you're manifesting, making the right choices to build a firm foundation, number four, in it with an alternative person. I have something better for you. Yeah. Put an end to this cycle of, you know, trying to control a situation, trying to control your feelings, contain and control your feelings, keeping everything. Just let go. Be free. See this as a hidden, this ending of this relationship is a hidden blessing for you because I have something great. I have an alternative for you an alternative for you, for your success and your happiness. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. The hidden blessings. Yeah, I have, I have a hidden blessing for you. This not working out is a hidden blessing. Spirit, tell me about this. Tell me about this new relationship, this new opportunity for this person. I am curious. I need the tea. Tell me about it, Spirit. Let your friends help you. I, I ask others for uh, support and help. I talked about this earlier. If you are watching, let your friends help you through this. You don't have to keep everything bottled up inside. A spirit really wants to tell you, you don't have to carry this alone. Let others help you navigate. See, that's what birds do. They fly together so that the brunt of um, the energy and the force isn't on the lead bird, the one bird. They all work together. Your friends will help you. If you're a friend of, be that, be there for this person. Share this reading with them and be there. And, and if you have other friends in common, kind of gather around this person and be that support group. And if you are that person, let your friends help you. Know that you're guided by angels. You are guided by your spirit guides, um, spirit, friends, past loved ones. One last, one last one, Spirit. Tell me about this. Yeah, and watch out for codependency because that's what these past relationships in the past, Spirit says, watch watch the choices you're making. You are an independent person. This, this um, high priestess of water is an independent person. 
but there's a little bit of codependency. Watch out for people that are codependent on you because obviously this person chose you for a reason. You had your shit together. They wanted to be part of that. They probably used you for financial support or if you're a friend, they use this person for financial support, for a steady supply of sex, for ego boost. And Spirit's saying in regards to the new, the new relationship, keep an open mind. It might not be... Um, a pretty of a package as the people, this person that, this guy right here, you know, because we got that he was an athlete, um, that the high priestess of water admired this person, saw them as a success. Keep an open mind because this new relationship, this great relationship may not be packaged as what you thought, but it's a great love. It's great union. It's protected. Watch out for people who are codependent and watch out for any codependency in you. Healed me talks. Heal. One more spirit. Too many? One more. Spirit's like, no. Okay. So I'm going to get that up and then I'm going to have one last card for either the, um, the person watching that's in this situation or if you have a friend that's going through this situation. Spirit can give me one last card. View from above, get the big picture. Really see your life, watch what you're manifesting. Spirit's watching over you, spirit knows what's going on. Get the big picture. Really look at the whole situation and make your decisions. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life and cleansing waters. Purification activates a vibrant life force. Yep. Me talks, me talks, self care. Yeah. Spirit saying, I'm watching over you. I'm watching over you. Please get the big picture about this. Really look at it as a, a hidden blessing that this is ending. There's alternatives. I'm watching from above. I know what's in store for you. I'm blessing you. Just cleanse, me talks, move forward. Take out the trash. You deserve better. And that's all I have for you guys. If this is you that's going through this, I'm really sorry. Um, but Spirit's got your back. There's blessings of all kinds because of that rainbow awaiting you. So that's what's the tea. That was pretty juicy, uh, but really sad. And if you are a friend of the person, uh, if you have a friend going through that situation, be there for your friend. Gather your other friends and just be there for that friend. Because even though they have that I'm okay exterior, I got my stuff together. And you guys may think this is this person really has their stuff together. They're really okay. I'm hearing just be there for them. Reach out. If they're a little too quiet, um, reach out. Because they may be, may be quiet for a reason. Be that thread so they can reach out and hold on to you. Okay? And if you're the person, reach out to people. Reach out to your soul tribe. And that's all I have for you guys this week. See you next week for What's the Tea Wednesday. Namaste.